Well, if you think Cortana is something new, uh, beat Cortana back from Halo 1 was the artificial intelligence working with Master Chief uh, back when Halo 1 was first published. Uh, this scene's from the initial beginning of the bridge, which introduces us to Cortana. So anyways, this uh, video is not really about Katana, but it's about uh, getting your Halo 1 up and running. I'm not going to go through the install of Halo 1. Uh, it's a general install, works just great. I am going to talk about some patching to it, and then I get it to run correctly. So as you can see here from my main screen, if I go to my uh, compatibility or my legacy games, you'll see right in the center there's a Halo icon. Just did the install, then uh, called it, told it to uh, create a... Uh, link on the desktop, a tile on the desktop will work fine. Now, if you're, you think you're having a compatibility uh, issue, you can always go out here to the, whatever you installed it. In my case, it's the uh, D drive with the games, and we go down here to Microsoft Games and Halo and find the EXE, but in my case, it didn't show up the compatibility tab, as we'll see here. Uh, and there, that's a problem with sometimes if your particular installation doesn't recognize that there's a problem that won't give you the compatibility tab and yet if you're crashing you can do that. I have another video on access to that but I'm going to cover it uh, briefly here and in order to uh, troubleshoot compatibility further you can simply go to your desktop and start typing in uh, about getting to find run a program in compatibility mode and then you'll see it come up on the menu and you just simply click on it and it'll go with launch the compatibility troubleshooter and what it'll do is it'll try and find a list of all your games and you just scroll down to the game you want to have. If it's not listed, by the way, you can say not listed, but it will go here to Halo. And then it would go in here and say, oh, what's the problem? I'm going to skip through this and not do that, but you would just go through a troubleshoot and it would try to create some settings that you would need to have to, in order for it to run. And again, it didn't have a problem with me, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. What I did find out, though, is that uh, I had to, when I ran the game, I had to put my CD in each time, uh, just a pain having to dig it out of my library. So I went and looked for uh, any patches. It's good to look for a patch for any game. So I did went out to MSN and used their search. It's a Bing search in the background. And I went to Halo 1 patch. Now, I happen to know that it's 1.10 for Halo. And sure enough, I found it here from uh, Softpedia. And you have to be careful here, so i like any other third-party site to make sure you're not clicking on the wrong buttons and everything. Uh, but here we go ahead and click on the, uh, the download link up here. And you see as I hover over it, it says download the patch. And again, ignore a lot of the other stuff on the page. Over here, you'll see the secure download. And you can sit there and go click on that. It comes up. And... You've got to be careful yet again anyways because you want to make sure that uh, you just wait for it to start and there is the name is halo patch nothing else and say save as and in my particular case i just go over here to where i have my master downloads at under games and i think i have it under microsoft here let's see you go under microsoft now, Halo, I've already downloaded it. That's the patch there, so I won't bother saving it again, but that's where you would save it to. And then you launch your patch from there. So here we are. We go over to the desktop. There's my uh, the patch that I downloaded. You would double-click on this, and it would come up and say, uh, there's the patch will update from 1.0 through 09, except for 1.05. So you have to make sure you have the right patch and version number and everything. Would you like to update now and just say yes? Now, in this particular case, it's gonna, not going to tell me anything. It's going to just come back and say uh, that it's I'm up to date, but it'll go through a, a slightly different one when you have a, a patch, uh, if you don't have it already installed. But there it is. It's up to date. So with that update, I just went ahead back to my uh, Windows uh, start screen and launched my, and sure enough, here we are playing it with no CD, no nothing, just launches uh, Halo immediately and goes into the demo uh, to be the beginning. So the first thing I went into is when I went in here, I went into settings. And uh, the first thing is the control setup I looked at, because I'm trying to refresh myself with the game. It's been a few years, actually, since I played it. It's the usual WSAD. So let's go down here to uh, volume and sound. Everything looks great down here. We're going to go to how quality, though. Again, I don't have EAX turned on. 
and uh, we should be good there. So we're going to go back here, and uh, volume's okay. So we're going to go ahead and say okay, and go back over here down to the video. Now this video setting initially comes up in a lower resolution, maybe different view, but I'm going to pump it up all the way to 1920 by 1080, which is the default resolution of my monitor. And I'm going to go with high for everything. So as uh, you would expect, as I uh, go back in here, uh, video uh, settings are going to refresh. And here we are back in after the after it's uh, changed into the higher resolution. Uh, don't worry about network setup. Uh, you can set up a player profile, so we're going to do that. And I'm going to put the old guy, old, old guy geek in here and say, OK, let's create a profile. You can have many profiles you want here. Uh, I'm just doing the normal uh, difficulty. You know, one of the first things I, I want to do is I'm going to, instead of going into campaign, I'm going to go take a look at multiplayer. And you can do the internet. I used to be, still be able to do LAN, I suppose, between two, two different places as long as you have your IP addresses. But I thought I'd check to see what servers are out there. So I click on Get List. And sure enough, there are still Halo 1 servers out there. It was amazing to find them after all these years. So what I did was is I went out to one that I thought that uh, I could play with. There's uh, somebody, eight people out there on that one, one hit kill. Uh, and uh, thought I'd uh, go try that. Now, I haven't played Halo in a number of years, so I was a little uh, worried about uh, getting out there. But as you can see here, you, if you select that particular one, you'll be able to see who's playing. Uh, the rules and uh, what's going on. So once you decide on the one you want and if it's fast enough of a ping and you think you want to join the game, then you just simply, once you have it highlighted, you come down here and say join game. Now depending upon whether or not you have that map installed, it may have to download a map and everything to play. Uh, but here I am in the multiplayer game. Uh, automatically put me on a team. Uh, I won't tell you again how, how many times I got killed right off the bat because I haven't played the game in years. So I decided to go out here and uh, go out here to, to the uh, settings and try and figure out uh, how to zoom with my uh, sniper rifle. Uh, there's different categories of movement, keyboard, mouse. Uh, they have uh, different, uh, besides the, the category being movement, there's also weapons categories. Uh, so I had to go out there and figure out that out. There's combat. Uh, so I had to relearn the game from scratch again, uh, which is fine. The, uh, the for example, there's the scope zoom, which was C or Z or the middle mouse button. So I went decided to go back to the game and uh, try my hand at that, and there's the zoom. Well, I just cut it out there because I was done, because I, again, I got killed quite a bit. So we're back to Halo, and now we're gonna try the campaign level. Well, and I'm gonna go to normal. Now I skipped past the intro here. Uh, this shows a, a little bit of the uh, intro video. But uh, basically, you're out in the space and you're about to enter into a war. And uh, there's the halo ring. So here we are in the beginning of the in where we're awakening up uh, called Reveille. And you play the character of Master Chief. So we're going to do an orientation here and get used, get used to the suit that you're in. Uh, so after we uh, get out, get wake up and get the, the system checks out of the way we go through a series of uh, calibration exercises with the uh, systems here and everything so we go through all that get the all set up and eventually we're sent off because we're under attack and we get sent off to uh, find the uh, bridge so in doing so we have no weapon to begin with and we're trying to get out of here and get up to the, up to the bridge so with that though Near the end of the uh, first uh, part of the level, we end up at the bridge talking here. Captain Keys. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. A dozen Covenant superior battleships against. And we meet Cortana for the first time in Halo One. Three. Make that four kills. Sleep well. We are uh, Thanks, talking to Cortana and starting out the Halo Adventures. Uh, not bad for uh, a game that uh, was released on November 15, 2001. At this time of this video, 13 years ago. So you should be able to install it, patch it, run it uh, with no problems on Windows 8.1. You got to get another example that uh, Windows 8.1, as far as uh, most software and many games, runs great. 
uh, and you can still yeah. enjoy those old classics that you right, used to enjoy uh, many, many years ago. And uh, for those of you who want to see it, there's a little bit of a gameplay here uh, in the beginning. Still works great. Still can go after and kill a bunch of aliens. So again, have fun with uh, Halo 1 on uh, Windows 8.1. Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to. And, of course, our latest uh, feature video. And thanks for watching.